The driving licenses of fire victims at Kampung Baru China Karak in Buntong will be replaced by the government for free. Transport Minister Datuk Sri Dr. Wee Ka Seong said that during a visit to the site on Tuesday, adding that the victims only need to show their police reports to get their new licenses. You no, know, as long as they have this police report, and in fact, I mobilized the unit mobile unit JPJ. Last week we were here, and today we are here again. So they can come, and we thought they can go to the nearest JPJ. As long as you can prove that you are the victim of this kabatara, then you can just inform us, and it's better for them to come to you, and you can legalize with the mobile unit. So they are fully informed. Also present were National Unity Minister Datuk Halima Muhammad Sadiq and former MCA President Datuk Sri Liao Tiong Lai, who heads the Special Task Force for the Welfare of Karak Fire Victims. On additional aid for the victims, Halima said that work was underway to rebuild the area. Engineer kita dah siap, arkitek kita dah siap, surveyor kita dah siap, dan peguam-peguam dah siap. Jadi sekarang ialah untuk membuat cadangan perancangan pembangunan baru yang akan kita cadangkan. Selepas siap, saya dengan Datuk Wika Siong akan bersama-sama dengan Datuk Sri Lia Tonggai kita akan bersama-sama uh, untuk kita go through eh, dan melihat kepada cadangan yang akan dicadangkan dan kemudian kami juga bertiga akan bersama-sama untuk uh, berbincang dengan pihak kerajaan negeri. Jadi bagi pihak kerajaan pusat saya dengan Datuk uh, Datuk Sri Wikasio tapi di peringkat kerajaan negeri kami juga akan berbincang dengan yang amat berhormat Datuk Menteri Besar. A donation of 189,000 ringgit in total from the National Unity Ministry was also handed over to 63 victims of the fire. On the night of October 1st, 53 houses and 8 shops went up in smoke in a fire at Kampung Baru, China, Kara. No casualties were reported, but dozens were left homeless. <laughs>